create projects in Visual Studio with CloudScribe, you should use our project template for Visual Studio, which you can find a link on our introduction page on cloudscribe.com. The link is right here. And that takes you to the Visual Studio Marketplace where you can download and install our project template for Visual Studio. In this recording, I'm going to show you how to create a nice solution structure when you're creating a project with the CloudScribe project template. The same approach can be used whether you're using something else. Uh, I'm just going to say File, New Project, and then under Web, you'll see we have the CloudScribe Web Application Project. Now, if I were to just click OK, this is going to kind of use Visual Studio defaults, and it's not going to organize things how I would like them. I like to have an SRC folder for all my code projects and a test folder for test projects. So the trick to this is to not start with this. Instead, we choose other project types, and we start with a blank solution. And we choose where we want to put the project, and I'm just going to choose this demos folder for now. And then I'm going to give it a solution name, acme.web. And it's going to create a directory for the solution, because that box is checked. So I'll go ahead and click OK. And now I've got an empty solution. And the first thing I'm going to do is right-click the solution and add a solution folder. Now this doesn't create a physical folder. It's a virtual folder that's part of the solution. I'm going to create another folder, and that'll be for test projects. And then what I do is I right click the folder, and I can choose Add New Project. And then this time, I will choose the CloudScribe project template. You can use any other template if you want. And I will just name this one acme.webapp. And what I want to do now is make sure that this goes into a physical folder named SRC so that it, the virtual folder map, maps to an actual physical folder on disk and organizes my code on disk the same as I see it in the Solution Explorer. So I click OK. I've got two monitors going, so this came up on the other screen. I'm dragging it back over here where I'm recording. Now this is the CloudScribe project template. On the left side, this is all open source stuff and then over here we've got a few optional add-on products that are free to try but they have little uh, alerts that are shown unless you purchase a license file and install it in your project. Um, you can choose which data base to use or use NoDB which is just a file system storage. Some of the fe uh, add-on features are only supported if you choose uh, like a real database like SQL Server, MySQL, or PostgreSQL. So they become enabled if you choose that. Uh, for this demo, I'm just going to keep it at NoDB. And by default, it comes with the blog and pages. If you don't need that, you can leave it out and just use the CloudScribe core, which is just users and auth authentication and that kind of thing. Uh, we've got a log logger and a log viewer that we include by default. There's a contact form that you can optionally include. There's uh, things for having custom fields on the registration that can be included automatically and those things are stored in key value pairs in the database. And then there's also identity server integration. And then there's uh, things if you want to do a lot of client side stuff. We've got uh, templates that include Webpack and a React sample down here. Those have, we have a link here because some of those uh, you have to have Node.js installed separately and you have to configure Visual Studio to use the separately installed Node otherwise some of the dependencies don't work and the thing won't build so that's why I put that in the expert zone down here to make sure you know that, that you could have some difficulties and there's a link here to explain how to solve those. Um, in this case I'm going to make another tutorial right after this about our form builder so I'm going to go ahead and include that one but I won't cover it in this tutorial. You could just stick with the open source stuff if you like but I do encourage people to try out our add-on features as well. So now I'm going to click OK and if everything went well my project will be created in the virtual SRC folder in my solution and it will also be created in the actual SRC folder on disk. And when it's done, it opens up a README that gives you some more information about CloudScribe and the, and the specific features that you've installed and tells you about the 
login credentials by default uh, it's going to be admin at admin.com with the password admin of course you can change that after the fact so going back to Visual Studio we see it's in the SRC virtual folder but now let's make sure if it went into the right folder here and you see it did so now I have a file system structure that matches the virtual folder structure and if I wanted to add new test projects to the solution I would do the same thing I would right click the test folder to add the new test project and then I would make sure that when I added the project I specify the test folder in the path of the actual project so that it would go on disk in the same place and map to where I have it in the solution. Well that's it for this tutorial. There's a lot more to see. Uh, I could show you, I've got other tutorials with that show the CloudScribe open source features. This is really just a quick tutorial uh, because you can go down the wrong path easily if you just click create project and it, it's a good idea to organize your solutions and you want to do that in the early part because you know once you put it in your source code repository you don't want to have to move things around too much. So that's it. Hope that was helpful.